Um, explaining optional relationships. Um, Dallin, can you walk us through the idea of optional relationships and sugar and how they affect your report? Yeah, sure. So let's go back to my report. I actually have one that would be really good for this. So I'm going to open up here my contacts with birthdays in the next 30 days. You can actually see here that I have uh, quite a few that are upcoming. And you'll notice actually here that there are a few that don't have any accounts. So these are showing up because I've actually enabled that optional relationship, meaning that even if a, a contact doesn't have the relationship to an account, uh, it's still going to show it because it's met the other conditions that I've set in place. Just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like without this optional relationship turned on, I'm going to go ahead and just edit this. For details, I'm going to now uncheck this box. In a, just so everyone understands, the reason why this is being uh, this is an option as to why I can make it optional is because in my display columns, I've actually requested to look at the account name. So you know the account name isn't just stored on the account record; it's, it's stored through the relationship to the account record. So and now when I hit save, you can see I originally had about 32 entries, and now I'm down to 25. And you can see every single contact here has an account related to it. That's essentially kind of what that optional relationship controls. So the any sort of fields or data that I've requested is now, it doesn't have to be present in order for those results to return, as long as my other conditions, like you know, the birthdays in the next three days, is true. All right, excellent. All right. Um, may, it might be helpful for some of the people viewing uh, to take a look at or just go through a brief overview of actually the reporting module where because these relationships are based around certain modules and the reporting module can go in and pull information from those modules but you, it, it doesn't want to duplicate the information so it's it's set up in a particular way would you have the ability to kind of walk through that and let people know like how you can pull from different areas of of sugar crm to get a report with all the everything you're looking for Sure, yeah, you know, let's see. Let me make a report for that. So um we'll we'll create a just a new one right there. So I'm just gonna select rows and columns because that's one of the simplest reports I can generally generate in Sugar. Um and I think to kind of demonstrate what you're asking for, I think it would be pretty helpful to show that at the the account level. So <clears throat> This section can be a little intimidating to most just because you see a lot of files here, you saw a lot of field names, and it doesn't totally make sense to, to most people until you've really worked in the system. But what you should kind of consider is these, these folders that you're seeing underneath the account, these are relationships, basically. So if I open up this folder here with the contacts, I can now actually start reporting on a relationship that this account is going to look at the contact and now I look at things that are specifically related to now that that contact if that makes sense so here we'll, we'll, we'll put into practice just so it's a little bit easier to follow it's so, finding it's it's following essentially a hierarchy of going look under the account module for any related contacts and then out of those related contacts you might be able to drill into the amount of calls that those people's have people have received yeah exactly so just to make it uh, just quick and easy, I'm just going to grab accounts and uh, I'm not going to put any filters on the accounts for now. So we're just pulling kind of in any account that we'd like. Um, but if I wanted to kind of show this off with the related modules here, so again, I'm going to go here, accounts, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the account name right here. Now, if I want to grab information from a related module like the contacts, I'm going to actually select the contact top folder here. And now you can see all my available fields have now changed to being a contact related. But, um, you know, I don't actually want to see uh, information on the, the contact. I want to actually look at maybe some of the, the calls. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this calls relationship. And, and typically, this is kind of as far as you want to go. You don't want to go super deep into these. You usually want to stay about one or two degrees away from your, your focal point being the accounts. Otherwise, things can tend to just 
not always appear in form at the best. It, it's, you know, you, you'll end up with a nicer report and a pretty report, but you generally stay within that uh, two to three degrees um, range. So I'm just gonna go here on the account and uh, go grab a name, grab the subject. So if I click on that, now the information that I'm, I'm looking at is I'm looking at the account name, and then I'm also gonna now pull in the calls that are related to contacts. So just as an example, I'm just gonna hit uh, preview so we can look at what that looks like. But again, you can see here, here are the optional relationships again. So if for whatever reason I wanted to say, it doesn't, you don't have to have a, a contact related to an account that's been related to call, that if I needed to, or if I wanted to make that optional, I could just select that at this point. But for our purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and hit preview. There you go. So we can actually see here, here are calls that have been related to this particular account through a, a contact that has been, again, related to this account. So if I just open up this record basically kind of be able to, to see those breadcrumbs um, visually. So there we go. Here is a call that's related to, to Amanda. And if we looked at Amanda, we can even see there right there that this is related to, to Davenport investing. That kind of shows you that we've been able to, while we were kind of reporting through the account level, then through the contact to get the call, basically kind of how that, that those breadcrumbs work and how I can relate on related or sorry, report on related modules, even though I started at the, the account level. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's pretty cool.